Mr. Lon to TVC News. Well, Africa's real assets and not the high deposits of mineral resources like crude oil, gold, diamond and others, but her people and their unique history, attitudes, creativity, energy and institutions. Well, that's according to a British professor forming part of his years of painstaking studies of the continent. Ikenna Amici attended the fifth public lecture of the Admiralty University of Nigeria in Asaba. Africa, and indeed Nigeria, is bedeviled by loss of challenges from poverty to bad governance to hunger. Also, violence, poor health care, corruption are the order of the day in the continent, and the Western world seems to define us by these problems. But at this fifth public lecture of Admiralty University of Nigeria, Professor James Robinson, the renowned author of the book, why nations fail provokes a thought pattern that when utilized can genuinely lift the continent from the doldrums. He identifies that similar pattern worked for the Chinese who before 1978 faced worse situations. What, what are examples of Africa's later assets like meritocracy? Well, I think there are many, but what we do in the paper is just try to identify three and present some evidence. African society, I would say, is very achievement-based. Who best is designed to thrive in the, model, in the modern globalized world than Africans, than cosmopolitan Africans? Not English people, not for sure, not English people, you know. So that's the second latent asset. There's a lot of skepticism of power in, political power in Africa. From his studies, the continent has had over 500 years of terrible period characterized by slave trade, imperialism, land expropriation, and predatory mining companies. His call is for Africa to look inwards to getting solutions to the plethora of challenges rather than look elsewhere. But the Nigerians have to build a social contract, the way historically the Igbo people built the social contract, or the Hausa people, or the Yoruba people. But now you have to build something different from what you had in the past. And that is difficult. That's a difficult thing to do. And it takes time. It takes time to do it. But when you do it, all these latent assets can engage in the same way that Deng Xiaoping built a different social contract in China. His thoughts seems to resonate with attendees, but they hope it gets to leaders at all levels to ensure a paradigm shift. I am quite amazed. The way we have selected the latent assets, and we have seen some of them, and it baffles me that we didn't even think about these things. We can focus on the positive things that we have and make them leapfrog on them to ride to where we want to go. So the take home is paradigm shift from looking at only the things we can see and focus on looking inward. African countries like Botswana, Rwanda and South Africa are already on this path and need to be strengthened.